Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friend. Today I am going to discuss about spin spin splitting or spin spin coupling. Spin spin splitting is also called spin spin coupling. So first of all we can define uh, spin spin splitting. That what is spin spin splitting? The splitting of a signal into a set of peak under the influence under the influence of a neighboring non-equivalent proton. Neighboring non-equivalent proton is called spin spin splitting or spin spin uh, coupling uh, non-equivalent proton what is meant by non-equivalent proton we discussed non-equivalent and equivalent proton in the previous lecture but here you can remember that that non-equivalent proton is that type of proton which having different uh, environment is called non-equivalent proton so that type of splitting in which one set of proton uh, uh, split due to the influence of due to the influence uh, due to the influence of other set of proton is called spin spin splitting. To understand the spin spin splitting, we can take the example of 112 trichloroethane. This compound is this compound is 112 tri chloroethane 1 1 2 tri chloroethane uh, in this compound two set are present in one set two proton are present and if we look on the other end uh, the, the second set uh, contain one proton one proton and this set have two proton if we talk about this set of proton, this set one set of proton, then this set of proton influence the second uh, set of proton, and this type of splitting can be explained on the basis of n plus one rule. N plus one rule. What is meant by n? N represent the number of proton, the number of non-equivalent proton. So if we talk about this set, then this set influence the second uh, set of proton. And in the second uh, set of proton, there are two proton are present. So the value of n is n is equal to 2. n is equal to 2. So if we put n is equal to 2 into n plus 1 rule, then we get 3. So this compound having three peaks. This compound having three peaks. Here you can see clearly that this compound have three peaks. And the chemical shape value for this compound is 5.717. And the intensity of this compound is 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 1. The middle peak have high intensity. So that's why the intensity is 1 ratio 2 ratio 1. And on the other side, when we talk about this compound, this set of proton, then this set of proton influence this set of neighboring proton. So n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1. Why n is equal to 1? Because here 1 proton are present. So the n so n is equal to 1. When we put n is equal to 1 in n plus n plus 1 formula, then we get then we get 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So this compound having two peaks. This compound having two peaks. And the uh, chemical shift value for this compound is 3.95. So this is the best possible explanation for spin-spin splitting or spin-spin coupling. And the compound which having three peaks are called triplet. Are called triplet. And those type of compound in which uh, two peaks are present, then the compound is called doublet. Then the compound, this type of compound is called doublet compound. And this type of compound is called triplet. Triplet doublet and triplet and those type of compound in which four peak are present is called quintet and so on.
So this is all about the spin-spin splitting or spin-spin coupling. Okay, thanks.